If you want to do some designer outlet shopping, well, maybe Zagreb is not exactly a place for you. Unless you want to save a lot of money by not actually buying anything, then Zagreb designer outlets are definitely a place for you. Me and my friend Masha went on like a day trip to Zagreb, which is the Croatian capital and is quite close to where I live, so it's not like a long drive. And our main goal was to have a fun day, but if we managed to score some cool items in one of the two designer outlets that Zagreb has, that's even better, right? So we went first to this one. This is on the eastern side of the city. And then on the way back in the evening, we went to another one, which is on the west side. I was really surprised. First of all, for those of you who don't know, those designer outlets, those are not Gucci level. I think the highest brands there are just Cavalli, Versace, Jeans Couture. I think they have some Max Mara, uh, but very few items. And it's not an actual store. It's like in one store you have a different brands. So we have Tommy Hilfiger, we have Gas, we have Calvin Klein and some other let's say high high street level. I would usually go there like once or twice a year just to go for a day trip to Zagreb and then you know if you find anything useful do a little bit of shopping and this time I was really shocked by the selection and the prices so we didn't find anything. There were some items from Cavalli and Versace that we, me and my friend liked, but the sizes were either XXXL or XXXS. And since we don't fit in either of those extremes, of course, the dresses didn't fit. And the rest of it was just like, I had a feeling those are all the things that nobody actually wants. And this, I know that a lot of you think that this is how outlet works, but not really. I do shop at out designer outlets quite often and I usually find a lot of cool items but this time there was nothing and even the items that I did actually like the prices were I mean for example I wanted to get Carolina Herrera you know the good girl uh, perfume that's the one in stiletto shoe packaging and uh, it, that perfume was actually 20 euros more in the outlet than in the actual normal store. So that kind of got me thinking, if we buy things at designer outlets because we think we are getting a deal, but actually we are overpaying things, I don't know, it just, it was weird because even in Guess, I mean, there was like this one dress that I saw online, but because it was pretty thin, I wanted to see how it actually fits me and I actually saw it in Guess store in one of the outlets. And the difference between the online price and the designer outlet price was to euros it was two euros cheaper so i know that most of the shopping has kind of like moved online so i guess the actual stores do suffer in this respect but come on people if you want you know to sell things at least do price normally do like at least 20 percent discount i wasn't looking for like 50 but i was hoping there's going to be you know uh, a few cool items on sale but no i was wrong the stock changes of course so whatever i find now it's not going to be the same what you will find if you're going to go there in like two months time but this was the second time in the last year that I went there and I found literally nothing. That was not the goal. The goal was to have fun but of course if you go to designer outlet you can expect that you will find something but not in this case. So just be warned. Before we move into the center of Zagreb where we actually went afterwards to have lunch and kind of you know walk around and coffee and things like that. Uh, this photo is taken in one of the designer outlets and the fun part is that it's actually taken inside the toilet places. Yes my friends this is the toilet. If you when you walk into the toilet to the bathrooms there's this huge wall with these like frescoes and things and it looks so cool and this is not a bathroom selfie because first of all a friend of mine took photo of me it wasn't a selfie but it is actually taken in the bathroom but you can't tell because it's a different wall you can't see sinks and things like that so this is actually a pretty cool photo so if you want cool photos uh, don't forget to check the toilets in the designer outlet places. Uh, then afterwards we went to the city center. The weather was not really nice so we kind of just had lunch and coffee and didn't walk around too much because it was quite windy and cold. But Zagreb is a beautiful city. I always enjoy going there. I think it's an amazing place and I love just walking around and you know having coffee later on in some pretty cool place. 
and we found this Japanese restaurant which is right next to the main square this is Turk Bana Yelacica square this is the main uh, part of uh, central Zagreb and this restaurant blew us away it was so good the food and the prices were amazing this is center of Zagreb and I think those bowls were like around 12 euros or something and the way to Gabriel he was the nicest guy ever really really cool so I can definitely recommend this restaurant if you are heading towards Zagreb you can find of course high designer uh, shops in Zagreb they are usually around the center area but they are not outlets they are just usual stores and boutiques so thank you for watching have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video